Good afternoon. George Cavalegos for Dragon Slayer. Well, we uh, finally made a little bit of money on the buy side in the treasuries. Um, I feel like uh, a huge moral victory was made today, even though it wasn't a huge, uh, you know, monetary victory. But we'll see. Um, I think there's more upside to go, guys. Um, I think we're going into what looks like a fourth wave corrective trade. Um, the wave two, which we caught nicely on the way up, remember the ABC up that was perfect swings? That's a simple corrective pattern. Now remember in Elliott Wave, there's something called the rule of alternation, which states that if wave two is a simple corrective pattern, wave four must be a complex corrective pattern. So what we're looking for is a complex corrective pattern here. Um, double zigzag where we you know go up one two three get a pullback go up one two three pull back something along those lines um, I think it's gonna take a while too so we're looking for a choppy sideways to higher trade in the treasuries over the next week basically I think we could run the June uh, tenure all the way up to 129.21 eventually, maybe even higher. That's a previous fourth wave. A lot of times a fourth wave will go back and retest the previous fourth wave of one lesser degree. I'll try to put out a chart tomorrow morning with the email and uh, show you what some of these possible counts look like. Now from last night's lows, it looks like we finished either an ABC up or one, two, three. My favorite pattern says we go up in five for the first move up here. And I think we could see a little bit more of a pullback tonight and then a further rally. That 129.06 level is a previous high that I think the market's going to go and test. I, want, I think tonight we could see a move up towards that level. If we see any reversal behavior at that point, I'm going to try and put on a small short for a corrective move back down for what I think could be the B wave. So I'm looking for a bounce is what I'm trying to say here. I, I think we should get a rally into tomorrow morning, um, tonight, hopefully not. We've seen some big moves overnight, important moves overnight. Um, you know, it's, it's taken away a lot of the thunder. We saw the lows last night of the whole move. Um, a lot of the rally happened very early in the uh, London session. We caught some of it on the number pullback this morning, and now we're looking for more. I want to buy dips. Um, if we do get a nice dip tonight, here's some levels I want to highlight. First, you know, the low that we've seen so far this afternoon is 128.23. If it drops a little bit more, the fib retracements of the rally that we saw today line up at 128.17, that's a 618 retracement, and 128.12 is the 79% retracement. A lot of times if we see a, a pullback like that, which could be a B wave, they'll go to that deep 79% retracement and then reverse. So watch those levels, look for reversal behavior at those levels, like a quick sell off and then a quick snap back. You know, those are the types of things I wanna look for. On the, on the upside, again, I'm, I'm looking for that 129.06 level, 129.14's big resistance above, and then that 129.21 level. Um, that's pretty much what we got in plan here. Um, it's Friday tomorrow. The NCA tournaments are on the TV right now. This middle part of the day, the volume really dropped off after we saw very heavy volume last night and this morning again. So uh, it's going to be tough. That's what I'm trying to say. These corrective patterns are tough, especially when they get complex. There's not going to be a simple ABC up. It's going to be ABC, X, ABC, X, ABC, X. Multiple corrective rallies are what we're talking about here. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at the fib retracements on these pullbacks to try and catch these dips. As we put up a reversal pattern like the highs at 129.02 this morning which fell short of the 0406 level and I miss selling it up there. Um, what we're looking for are the Fibonacci pullbacks of these that'll tell us where the, the next uh, corrective pattern, the next corrective rally is gonna start. So those are the levels we're looking for. Try and buy those dips, tight stops, correctives, patterns are tough. You wanna be very careful and not get chopped up too much here.
Wow, it's Friday tomorrow. <laughs> Thank God. Have a great night, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, listen. Um, you know, I've been working now with Novo CTA for about, what, uh, four months? I've been in the training program here, trading 10-year uh, notes in small quantities for the last four months. I've been doing okay. And they want me to try and start trading more bonds instead of 10 years. I'm going to put it to you guys. Um, let me know if you want to see just all bond levels or if you want to see both 10 years and bonds. I'm going to have to start doing more bond levels. The bosses uh, point me in that direction. They want me to take a little bit more risk as I'm going through this full-time trader training program that uh, these guys have been so successful with here before. So far, so good, right? Um, give me an email, um, george at Novo CTA. Just let me know what your thoughts are on the bonds and tenure. I'm a little bit reluctant to say I'm gonna do both because it takes a lot of time and effort to look at both markets. They are similar and you can probably trade bonds off of 10-year numbers and trade 10 years off of my note numbers. I'm sure a lot of people do that. But, you know, I'm providing a service here. I want to make sure that my customers won't be upset if I switch all of a sudden from my main focus on the 10-year to my main focus on the bond futures. Let me know what you think, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.